Okay, you have said very boldly you could end this Ukrainian-Russia war in 24 hours. Yeah. How? So I know Zelensky very well because he was very honorable with the fake phone call, impeachment hoax number one. They said I made a phone call to him and I was very threatening. I wasn't at all. I was actually very nice. I was congratulating him on a victory. But when they asked him, they said, did you, were you threatened? He didn't even know what they were talking about. He was very honorable. He could have done grandstand. He said, yeah, I felt threatened. I felt threatened. He didn't do that. And as you know, I get along very well with Putin. I would tell Putin, got to settle. I would tell Zelensky, you got to settle. I would tell one, you're going to load up with money. I'd tell the other, you're not going to get any money. I would get a settlement in 24 hours. Now, it should have never happened. You have thousands, hundreds of thousands of dead people right now. Hundreds of thousands. You have cities that are obliterated. I don't know if you've ever seen the cities after they finish with the rockets. You have cities with no buildings standing. It looks like just a demolition zone. It's so horrible. Sad. And, you know, and then they'll say two people were hurt. No, hundreds of people and thousands of people were killed. You're going to find out when this whole thing is over that the number of people killed is far greater than they tell you. They're not telling you the truth. Many, many thousands, hundreds of thousands of people are dying. These cities are being obliterated. And basically they say, what's your stance? Are you for Russia or are you for... I'm for one thing very simple. I want to stop people from getting killed and I'll have it stopped fast.